What's going on guys? In this video, we are going to be doing a review and I will also show you exactly how to install this very futuristic and modern light switch. This is the Livelo tempered glass panel light switch with touch sensor. This is a single pole, one gang, one way light switch. However, you can get the two gang, two way or even three way if you choose. They have all the different options to perfectly fit your home and needs. So here is the box and everything that was inside. We have the user manual, remote control and the tempered glass light switch itself. The remote does requires one battery. After everything is installed, we can either use this remote to turn our lights on and off from anywhere inside our home as long as we are within a 100 foot radius. We can also continue to use the light switch just like normally by simply touching the glass panel to turn the lights on and off. The touch sensor is very sensitive and will respond instantly to our touch, which is very cool. The glass panel is also damp proof and waterproof, which will allow us to safely turn the lights on or off even when our hands are wet. The tempered glass is also very strong and has been toughened enough to prevent it from getting scratches even from knives. We will never have to worry about it getting or looking old. It will remain new like this for pretty much forever. There's also a red and blue indicator light on the touch sensor part of the panel here. When the lights are on, the indicator will be red. When the lights are off, the LED indicator is blue, which also lets us easily see where the switch is during the dark. So the light switch comes with a tempered glass panel already attached to the box and to install the switch the first step we need to do is to take a flathead screwdriver and insert it here and with a light twist the panel and box will separate. Now we can actually start to install it but before we do that let me quickly explain what's on the back of the light switch here. So this may be a little confusing to you if this is your first time installing these type of things, but it is very simple and easy once you understand the mechanics and how it works. So this light switch again is a single pole, one gang, one way light switch. That means we can only use this for one light switch that control one set of lights. This also means that you cannot use this switch if you have, for example, two light switches in two different locations controlling the same lights. If you need it for that purpose, then you would need to get the two-way switch, which is also available as an option. Right here, we have several screws, but most of them we are not going to use. The only two we will be using is the line in and one of the line out. Line in means it is the line that will give our switch power. Line out means once we turn the switch on, the power will go to the lights to turn them on. So very simple, this switch do not require a neutral line at all. It also does not need a ground wire. And you will notice in just a second that the light switch in my existing home right now does have a line in wire, line out wire, and a ground wire. However, again, we will only need to use two of the wires with this light switch, which is the line in and line out wires. And now to install our brand new smart switch, the first and most important thing we need to do is to turn off the circuit breaker to this switch right here so that we will not get electrocuted during our installation. So go and find your house circuit breaker box and turn off the circuit to this switch. Now, after that, we are ready to remove our old switch. If you're in the US, most likely all you're going to have to do is remove two screws, one on top and one on the bottom. Once the two screws are removed, we can simply pull out the entire box. Now, back here, there are several wires you need to know which is which so that you can connect it to the new switch. So the first wire right here where the green screw is, is the ground wire, which is typically a naked wire. Again, for our new light switch here, we will not be using this ground wire. So we can just hook this onto a metal port of our light switch, like a screw, or we can just leave it back here without using it at all. Next, we have the out wire on top here. This wire is the one that sends power to our lights and power it on. So make sure to mark this wire as the out wire, 
we will be plugging this wire into our new switch line out. Lastly, at the bottom here, we have two line ins. Now, your house switch may only have one line in right here, which is absolutely normal. But if you have two line ins like me here, simply mark or remember that both of these are line ins. And we will be plugging both of these wires into our line in on our new switch. So let's go ahead and remove all of these wires from this old switch and connect them to our new switch. Again, the only screws we are going to work with is the line in right here and the line out. So simply put the line out wire in this hole, tighten the screw. Then if you have two line ins like me, put both wires into the line in hole and tighten the screw. Make sure everything is snug and tight and that no wires are touching each other. Screw in our two screws and pop in our tempered glass panel. Now we can actually head back to the circuit breaker box and turn it back on so we can test our new light switch. And as you can see it, it is working like charm. Just like that, we have a very modernized light switch that we can control by simply touching it. I find it a lot easier to just simply slide our hands across or up and down on the panel rather than trying to touch exactly where the sensor is. It is much easier and it also feels much nicer to simply slide our finger across the glass panel and our lights magically powers on and off. Or we can even control our lights by using this remote control here. To pair the remote with the switch, simply leave our finger on the touch sensor for about 5 seconds until we hear a beeping sound. Once we hear this sound, remove our finger. We can then select any button on the remote control and we will hear another beeping sound. This sound indicates and let us know that the remote control has been paired and connected to the switch successfully. And we can now use the remote to control our lights, which is pretty awesome. So overall, this is a very good product and it is also very easy to install. I do like it and highly recommend it. So with that being said, I will leave the link to where I got this in the description box below for you guys to check it out for yourself. Thanks guys for watching. Wish you all a beautiful day and I will see you all in the next video.